dive into the heart of Sydney's finest river with me as we pursue brim on light gear. The challenge is set, the PA14 is rigged and the anticipation is sky high. Join me on this angling journey where every cast holds a promise of a big fish. I'm not gonna let him get me on the rock. Not huge, but definitely decent. G'day fishers, get ready for an unforgettable session on Middle Harbour. I'm hoping we can top that fish that we got last time, 44 and a half centimetre brim. Today's a different day. Let's go for that 50 plus. If we can get it, so be it. And if we don't get it, at least we'll have fun. Make sure to subscribe and let's go. All right, it's mangrove time. The tide's high, just how we wanted it. We're just gonna go in as far as we can and we're gonna try to skip the plastic underneath the mangroves. See if we can entice a brim to come out and bite. We're using a Daiwa Bait Junkie Flick 295. on some light gear. I already saw some brim come out of the mangroves and chase the plastic, so that's a good sign. We might need to go top water. There we go, just got a hit. What is that? We might need to go top water. Our main focus today is plastics, but I just saw a whole heap of brim come out and smash my plastic. So I think we'll start off with some top water. Let's see if we can entice some brim. It's very still, in oh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but there's definitely brim in there. Well, that's pretty crap. Not the way we want it to start. I spooked everything, mate. Look at that, right up in the mangroves. We're just gonna let it sit there for a couple of seconds let it be known. A good little bow wave behind that. Yep. Yep, it's getting chased. We're on. We're on. Just like that. It's a good brim. Not huge, but definitely decent. Excellent start. Real good start to the morning. on the Daiwa in feet slippery dog. Right, so we've got one assist hook in the brim. Excellent, assist hook has done its job.
32 centimetre brim, 32 to the tip. Here we go, this is a good little opening. This is what we want, this looks ideal. This looks ideal. Cast it as far as we can. Let it sit there. Oh! Usually your dynamite. Here we go. No, he's got me around the tree. What are you doing? Get out of there. He's not big, but I wasn't ready for it. Silly brim. Just a small one, but... He had taken my line without me even seeing it. Now we're going to have to double check the line and make sure that we've got no frays. We've got any frays? I don't know. We're going to have to check. We're not even going to measure you up. Relax, mate. Don't tell me to relax. Now go call mama or papa. So I've got a risky critter rigged onto a, onto a bit of a heavier jig head. There we go. Ah, spewing. That was a good fish. Good yeah, that was a good fish. It happens. Nice looking area here. Got some boulders. Got some waves, got some wash, got some oysters. There's just everything you need here. I think right up against that rock wall there, we might find something in there. Let's see how we go. At this stage, there's nothing hitting it. But we'll keep a close eye out. Come on, just a little tug or anything. Let me strike at you. Something's hitting it. That's a small fish. Where's the big ones at? Where are the big ones at? Where are mama and papa at? There we go. There we go. Yes, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yes. Show us the money. You're being very difficult, Brimbo, aren't you? Yes, that's how it's done with the brim prawn, weedless. I wasn't even paying attention. And the line just went screaming off and I had to catch up to it. Looks like they're getting a bit better. Absolute crunch that, gotta love a weedless setup. Get a measure on your way.
you right on the edge there. It's another 32. Another 32 centimeter fish. Daiwa 295 flick on a 130th. Ah. I don't want to be flipping. So that's good. That's good. I'm going to try to get you guys the best angle I can. But I'm getting washed up to that boulder over there. The lure's getting washed up right up. Oh, here we go. Oh, spewing. I knew there was going to be a fish there. There we go. No, I'm not gonna let him get me on the rocks. He almost got me. He almost got me. But I'm not gonna let you do that, mate. <laughs> this one got muscled. This one got muscled out. Yep. You gonna call mommy or daddy? Okay. Why she goes. Always casting into the dangerous areas, mate. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's snag zone, don't you know? Are you kidding me? No wonder why I casted there. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? No, I just cast it right up against those rocks that you see there. Turtle! Wow! You swam under me. It's the second time now. Did you guys see that turtle? Thanks for joining me on this adventure. We went out, we caught maybe six or seven brim, nothing too big. We did get a fair few brim, so we got quantity over quality today. But we're happy with that, we got out here, we gave, gave it our best shot. We used some plastics, some top water. Um, most of the fish today came on plastics. So if one thing I was to take away from Middle Harbour, I've learnt for myself that is, is that fish the edges and fish the mangroves. So edges and mangroves has just been producing for me altogether. So I'd like to thank you guys once again for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully next week we can get ourselves another banger. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and leave a comment down below. Until next time guys, tight lines.